Hi, my name is Janelle McClarty. I'm the owner and founder of EncoreWebsites.com and today's video is going to be about how to use a free invoicing software for your company or just for any business using a website called Zoho. So this is how Zoho looks. You just go to Zoho.com. First step, you're going to have to sign up for an account. You enter in your email address here, so email address, then you enter your password, and then you press sign up. So as you can see here, it says an account already exists because I have one already. So once you sign up, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. So same thing, but then it just says access your apps. So you're going to sign up, log in, and it's going to say this. So I'm going to click on that. Here are some of the apps that um, Zoho also comes with. So besides just invoicing, we have the calendar section. We have this new section, which I've never seen. It's probably new. We have the creator section, which is for creating applications or just creating apps in general. And then we have the CRM section, which is for customer relationship management. So if you have customers that you'd like to just keep managed and keep on top of all the tasks for each customer and keep on top of all the information for each customer. This is a pretty good um, section of the website to use. Sales IQ, this is for managing sales. Reports, this is for obviously putting all your reports together and having them managed in one place. Your mail, so you can have your mailing go here, business mail, anything. Um, well, when I say mail, I mean email. Then here's the invoice, and then Volts is to store your password. There's other apps in this, but I'm going to do some tutorials on each of these sections. But for now, we're going to go straight into the invoice. So, this is what you see when you're getting started. You're going to have to set up the organization provide the roles, personalize the invoice, and then connect any payment gateways. So to set up your organization, you would need to put in all the organization details, including your company address, organization name, phone number, website, fiscal year, all this information you would enter in and save it. Then user roles, it will be the same thing, so you put your Whichever user it's going to be, you'll put their email address and information. You can add, invite different users, add as many users as you need. Then we have like preferences for branding. You can add your um, brand or your logo to the invoice. Just you can go through all of these sections and set them up. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to actually make a basic invoice. You don't need to set up all of this just to make an invoice. So you're going to go to invoices. You're going to press new invoice. You can press this new invoice section here. You can press this plus sign here or you can press this plus sign here or you can even press this drop down. So all these sections you can create a new invoice. This just gives you more options of what kind of invoice you're going to make. So a recurring invoice if you're charging someone monthly or bi-weekly or every year or you just press new invoice for a one-time invoice. Does your company give discounts? So if you're let's say a contractor and you do give discounts but it's just random here and there you can put yes I give discounts but just at the invoice level so at the end of the day if you talk to a customer and you say you know what 10% off you can just put it in at the invoice level but if you offer discounts on particular items um, let's say you sell shoes or you sell artwork and for this piece of art it's 10% off for this month that piece of art it might be 20% off for a sale so each individual item you would provide a discount and press this one and if you don't give discounts at all you would press that um, if you have if you sell products like as I was saying before you sell shoes or clothing and you have shipping charges you would select this for this purpose I don't have shipping charges for this company that I'm setting it up for and then if you have salespeople so if you have commission workers going out there making sales for you anything like that you would want to add this section as well 
So I'm going to keep this section in, press save and continue. Now the first step for creating an invoice, you would have to select a customer. So we're going to put in a new customer, put in their name, company name. We're going to put their contact display name. This can be either their company or their first and last name, last and first name, whatever you prefer. We're going to put in their email address. We're going to put in a contact number for them if you have, and then their website. You can also put in all this additional details. If you're shipping to them, you would have to put in their address, um, billing address, shipping address, if you're billing things to them as well. So after you fill all that out, whatever is necessary, you would press save. Now your customer is inputted in there, and then your invoice number, by default, it's one, and then it goes up beyond that. If you want to auto-generate a different number, like just put in your own number if you want, or if you want to add them manually each time, or if you want to start from a higher number, some people like to do that, so it doesn't look like you're fresh into business, you would just put a new number there. But for this case, I'm just going to start at zero, one, Press save. Invoice date is going to be today. When do you want this customer to pay? Do you want to pay? Want them to pay immediately on receipt? Do you want them to pay at the end of next month? Do you want them to pay? Do you end of the month of this month in 60 days, 45 days, 30 days, 15 days, or you can make a custom payment arrangement. So if you want them to pay tomorrow, you know salesperson if you have one I put the section up for myself and then the item details so whatever you're billing this customer for so I'm gonna be billing this customer for marketing marketing plan one which cost $150 thank you for your business you can make terms and conditions if you want to so And then I'm going to use this for the future, so you can just keep this the way it is. And then you click this if you want to email it to the customer. And then you press save and send. Here is the default template that the customer is going to see. They're going to see the amount and all that. They can click there to view the invoice. Here's my signature. And then we send. Oops, we have to actually send it to this person. And that's it. So once that's sent, this is what the invoice looks like. So you see my branding right here. So I have GCM Marketing Group, which is my marketing company. We have the invoice number, the balance that's due, when it's due, what is the item they're paying for, what is the rate, how much. So they got one marketing plan and it was $150, that's the balance due, note, and that. So we can, if they make a payment by cash, we can record a payment. They can make it by, they made, let's say the whole payment, or let's say they only made $50 of it, whatever it is. You can record it here. Did they pay by bank remits? Did they pay by bank transfer, cash, check, credit card? You put that in there. You put what date they paid. You can send them a little thank you note and then boom, record payment. And now it says balance due, zero, and this invoice would be paid, marked, marked as paid. So this is a very good system to keep track of all your invoices, keep track of who's paid, who didn't pay, all that. You go to the dashboard area to see you know, how much you've made for the past month or two months, however you want, for the entire year would show you like this is how much I've had in sales, this is how much I've had in receipts. So, and then here's um, just a snapshot of this quarter, this year, this month, and all that. 
So I can go through each of these sections with you of how to make an invoice, um, beyond how to make an invoice, but how to make an estimate, how to create contacts, how to create specific items that you're selling, um, how to use a timesheet area, the reports area. I can go more in depth. Just send, leave me a quick little comment below if you have any questions. And um, as I said, this is for my marketing company. We provide marketing services. It's gcmmarketing.com. And um, yeah, it's mainly for construction contractors. So if you're interested, send me a quick email. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. So once again, this was a how to create an invoice using a free invoicing software called Soho. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful rest of your day.